afternoon all back out again third and one of the last few test rides we're on the third one now uh, Lex Moto Titan Euro 5 125 and we're on ride route 2 again I fancy some back roads and some country lanes and oh great sod's law as they say the train is coming gotta wait for the train now There we go, so we shall pull up and have a look at the train. While we're doing that, let's talk Lexmoto Titan. This is one of the cheapest scooters they do, and probably one of the most reliable and more renowned bikes that Lexmoto do. We have sold so many of these Titans. They are going out the door like the proverbial hotcake. This is the last one that we've got left, and... Uh, everything else has gone we had five of these in and they've all gone within the case of about two weeks so this one's going out this week from one of our customers these are priced at 1999.99 so two grand plus you're on the road fees but all singing all dancing and very simple scooter to use what have you got in front of you you've got a rev counter you've got a fuel gauge you've got your miles an hour engine main beam indicator lights and that is it it is so simplistic over on the left you've got your high beam low beam indicators horn hazards cross on the left kill switch across on the right kill switch and a start button front brake rear brake nice and easy and as always gone about the mirrors i've got about mm, quarter of me quarter of my shoulder in that mirror can set it out a little bit wider if you want but picks up the road nicely from uh, where I am situated on the front of the bike. Now the seat on this is super wide, it does splay your legs apart, but once you're up and uh, actually got your feet up in that footwell, it does seat you very, very good. Now obviously, depending on how quick this train is, I might shut the bike off and save myself some fuel, but what I normally say, if you sat for a two minutes or less don't even bother turning it off because the amount of fuel you use to start a car or a motorcycle up it's not worth it but in this case we'll turn it off we'll have a bit of quiet and we will wait for said train to pass so buying one of these what should you do once you've bought it doing your bolt checks checking everything up and then 40 mile an hour maximum of 45 for the first 500 miles or three months and everyone's going oh it's a long time to run an engine in yes it is but the more care you take running this bike in and taking your time with it the longer the engine will last go and look at young vikings channel he has got one of these that's done 68,000 kilometers in about the first three years he is ramping the mileage up and i think he's on about 75,000 now I hear a train. There it is. So many little thing it is as well. Bedford to Bletchley train. There we go. And the Titan starts on the button. We are away again. Right, so let's go and do this ride route. Now I've got some air moving through my jacket. Oh, that's better. My back is now sweaty, sweaty Betty, as they say. So speedo on this is k's on the outside miles an hour on the inside what i normally say to people is obviously keep looking down trying to figure out where 30 40 and 50 are on this is a pain in the ass because they put the inside silver with a slightly different silver to the miles an hour the outside's great white on black inside silver on silver great idea guys yeah but obviously once it's uh, you got the backlight on at night but yeah during the day what i normally say is budget at 43 to 44k is going to give you 30 mile an hour 10 o'clock down the inside 40 mile an hour is going to be your 60 which is going to be 11 50 is going to be one o'clock so 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Remember it as that. That is the easiest way to remember it. Or someone came up with a novel idea the other day and he said, oh, I don't do that. I've got Tipex. 
and I just put 30, 40, 50, 60 on there and I can instantly look down, is it one dot, is it the second dot, is it the third or the fourth dot? Tipex works wonders. Great idea, thank you very much for that. So if you're struggling to see what 30 mile an hour is on your Titan, because they put silver on silver, get some Tipex. But for a scoot, it rides absolutely lovely. Now this customer has gone for the 32 litre top box on the back, which holds a full face helmet. Now, someone has actually said to me, said, how long does it take you to fit a top box? Normally about 30 to 45 minutes to put a top box on one. Yeah, but you only put three bolts in the top box. Yeah, if you're, if you're fitting a top box normally, then yes. With the Titan, it has a plastic bit at the top. Now that's a top plastic on the rear Titan rack is curved as soon as you put a top box on it flops backwards and forwards so what you need to do is completely take off the rear handguard two bolts at the back one bolt either side remove the handguard four 10 mil bolts underneath and remove that plastic top cover that is what you would do then what you need to do is get your top box plate and you dremel or cut away the edges of the top box so they fit around the hand guards that will allow it to seat flat on that solid metal plate for the rear Titan rack then bolt your top box down so that's how we do it a lot of people just slam a couple of bolts in it oh that'll do it'll be fine no it won't near enough is not good enough not in my book anyway so that's how you fit a rear Titan rack. I'm doing 29 mile an hour. Here we are. I'm actually being a bit slower today. It's the heat. So back on the ride route we go. But if you're delivering, doing deliveries or anything um, like Deliveroo or Uber or whatever you do with your pizza company, you can put a 42 on there, 52 or the big pizza box it will fit but you've got to take that plastic rack off that plastic top cover has got to come off the rear rack handling wise bottling around all day on one of these if I was doing McDonald's deliveries nice 52 litre top box big wide one oh little bump there to check the suspension out watching him pottering around on Uber or Deliveroo, this could make you a small fortune. These things do 100 plus to the gallon. Great little engine, and it's the well-renowned Titan engine. It's the same engine that's been around for absolutely donkey's years that everybody uses in their scooters. You can get these to go a little bit faster. And we had this on the live stream on Friday. Someone was asking, how do you get a Titan to go faster, or any scooter, to go faster. If you want more rapid acceleration, lower the weight of your rollers. So if you've got 12s in, go down to 10s, 11s, you'll get more acceleration, but you'll get lost, less top end. If you want it for high speed, where you're cruising around all day, then what I would suggest is, if you're going from 12s, go up to a 14. 14 or a 15 weight roller which is what we did for uh, our customer young viking because he obviously does a lot of miles he went i need an extra couple of mile an hour even two or three mile an hour will get me there a little bit quicker because i run about 30 to 40 miles a day so even if i'm getting there two or three mile an hour faster it's going to save me five ten minutes okay go heavier rollers and he can actually get 65 to 67 out of his Titan and yes he does push it but he gets 65 to 67 mile an hour which isn't bad for a little 125 scooter that is designed to do between 55 and 60 it's a 125 at the end of the day you're not going to be breaking speed records with a scooter or a 125 you're welcome <laughs> little flash of the lights there so go on matey 
and it's surprising he actually picked up on the lights because you've got uh, them uh, H4s either side so it's got a bright set of bulbs you've got twin lights on the front of these Titans and they are very very easily seen so another great thing about the Titan but for rideability and everything it's for the money cheap Chinese bike and it's not cheap Chinese bike anymore these things are good money at the moment but for something like this where you're uh, banging around daily ride knocking the mileage out every day they are a great little scooter they get to and forwards to work or to and from work and they do exactly what it says on the tin yes did you notice that you were in the wrong lane? Oh look, they're all in the wrong lane. It's, oh, and another one. It, oh. <laughs> oh, I love it when car drivers don't pay attention. Brilliant. Another two bell ends of the week for the video. Driving standards these days are absolutely ridiculous. Another one for the YouTube channel. Obviously, I have a truck there. I can't see the road, so what is the easiest way to know when it's clear? When the truck pulls out. Now, is he going to try to come round in my lane? No, he's going all the way round. Brilliant. Watching them mirrors. Right, we're off again. Oh, that's better. Bit of air movement across the body. Have a little manhole cover, pop hole, bum bum bum. Yeah, it's soaking it up nicely. So, 7k in on the bike. But riding lovely. As you would expect a Titan to do. Keep my eye on him. Watching the mirror. Right, we're going to go back round and then we're heading back to the garage. First part of the test ride done and obviously my final ride on the day or just before the day of handover. But the first part of the test ride done, didn't expect the Titan to be anything but perfect. I know that because uh, I did the pre-delivery inspection on it so I'm not blowing my own trumpet but I didn't find anything first time round. And the best thing is, 5.5 .5 litres fills this tank up, so they've not got an overtly huge petrol tank, enough for a gallon of fuel. That gallon will get you a decent 100, 120 miles out of it, maybe more if you uh, take your time. So, great little bit of kit. And no issues found with uh, this one. So, all good. So, back to the garage we go, I will go and now try and make myself a cup of tea, yes it did go cold, so I'm going to try and make myself a cup of tea this afternoon, get my paperwork finished off, get a few more bikes ready to go out to customers, and as I said, if you are, where are you going, if you're about this week, we're going to try and do the bike run out to Simon on Wednesday or probably a Michi Coffee or uh, might even be Billing Aquadrome up to the cafe up there don't know yet until I find out who's riding where but we shall figure it out Tuesday night Newport Pagnall Wednesday Billing Aquadrome a Michi Coffee Daytona Girls normally over there uh, Billing Aquadrome is normally Red Locks and Hayden or bike night out towards Tillsworth with Simon GTR 1400 Thursday Oakley Bike Club Friday Live Street Saturday Day off Sunday Super Sausage or uh, I don't know if we're going to bang a different run in this Sunday we shall see find out what's going on 
as always like subscribe and drop your comments in the box and down below what do you think of the Titan do you own one do you think they're all right or has yours rotted away because you haven't maintained it but till next time guys third ride test over a couple more still to go be well ride safe and from RP it's a big goodbye from me.